guys it's Monday morning everything's going beautiful I've been uh, here for half an hour now it's 8 30 Monday morning I'm squaring up the shower of course I like to use a uh, uh, laser level these days you know before these came out it was uh, a long straight edge and you square off your longest wall but now it's you know easy peasy with a laser but you still always go off your longest wall I've gone off that wall so you measure out and then you square it off I'm coming out two tiles from a strip drain That's the length of my shower. I've centered it, that's my center line. So my tile will be like that. I'm splitting it from here up to here. I'll come in oh, 20 mil probably. If you go right to the corner, uh, that corner can break if you're cutting it on a uh, on a tile cutter you can cut it if you've got one on a wet saw and go right to the corner but uh, if you don't use a wet saw like I don't I used to have one when I was doing a lot of marble but uh, I've since sold it, I don't know what, seven years ago. No need for it anymore, it was too big and you know, cumbers cumbersome. Too big, too hard to handle for one bloke. And then you always got to tow around a trailer and oh, nah, pain in the ass. Just come in 10 or 15 mil, 20 mil if you want. And then that corner won't snap off. That's gonna be sloping my tile down to the strip drain. And then of course I'll have another piece out there outside my shower and then it all just carries on full tiles so easy peasy um, it's my most favorite drain DIYs the linear or long drain or you know whatever you like to call it there's heaps of names for them I've got plenty of fall there, probably about 12 mil. I would like to bring it up another couple of mil, so I'll use a 15 mil trowel out here and a 12 mil trowel in there, just to get it just three more mil. It's always good to have more fall than not enough. So it'll be it'll be falling about. 13 14 mil which is good brilliant it's going to be a nice bathroom that ledge there i just put another coat on that this morning um because i was putting slope on it with glue on friday and i wanted to make sure i just gave it another coat uh this morning because it's had all all weekend to dry now so all all cool all good all right well i'll just mark a few of these tiles and that sort of thing and get set up more and uh i'll come back to you but always make sure you square people and the biggest thing to remember is go off your longest wall always when you're tiling a room go off your longest wall If you are, say, tiling down the hall and into a bedroom and that sort of thing, get a long straight line right up the center of the hall and come off that. And you're laughing. Don't go off a shorter wall. Your wall, uh, your hall is the longest wall, so that's what you go off. All right, see you soon. 
it's Chriso. Stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel if you want to learn how to tile. I've been doing this for 35 years. Uh, there's probably things I still don't know. Things are changing all the time. But uh, you sort of, you know, you keep up. There's modern ways of doing things. Some good, some, some not so good. Okay, see you soon. Yo!